I don't think anymore. Well, we had uh, we had fun at Moparty. Uh, well, I did. The car, well, not so much. Oops. The car, not so much, as you can see. Um, yeah, we don't have a carburetor on there. Yeah. So we have uh, an issue with the uh, intake manifold on this 340 that I am befuddled about. We did a video uh, right there somewhere uh, I me changing it out. And I put uh, Felpro High Performance gaskets on there. We checked, we checked all, you know, all the, the measurements to make sure it's flat. You know, torqued everything to spec, used thread sealer, did everything that you're supposed to do to make it seal. I made one pass at the drag strip because I hadn't done anything before that. I guess I didn't drive it hard enough. I did one pass at the drag strip and it um, filled up number six with oil. And so today I'm doing diagnostic. And this is kind of neat. This this uh, really flexible. Uh, it's hopefully let me turn the light off here. So you can get a, hopefully you can see this on this uh, screen. So we'll uh, we'll go in there, and there is, and there is the valve. Right. Okay. I just saw it. Okay, see there's the there's the valve stem. Down there's the valve. That 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 gack on the bottom, that's the valve. Up on top, there uh, does not appear to be any running oil down that seam. But there is sure a lot of oil. That's the actual valve. Down there with that 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 big yucky mess down at the bottom. That is the valve. This, that greasy thing there, that's the actual valve and that's the back of the valve over there. It is completely and utterly coated and as we back off, you can see that the entire runner area is soaking wet. So this thing has been sucking, is sucking oil up through the intake again. And this time, this time when I, uh, I went around ex looking around, I, I went and I, you know, I'm taking, I'm taking stuff off and I have a light over here and I go, I look down and, and lo and behold, that's oil on top of the intake manifold gasket. So comment if you've had this happen before. I uh, I'm I'm at a loss because even before it, it didn't do that. It leaked into the cylinder, but this is it is blowing. It appears that it is quite frankly blowing up that side of the intake manifold. So I guess it's warped. I'm gonna have to get my trusty uh, carpenter square out and go at, and now see if it's level. I hope it is. I have ordered a set of Mr. Gasket high performance uh, intake manifold gaskets for it. And I'm going to do some uh, gasket maker tricks that I saw and I've heard about because I, I'm, I'm, I'm getting a little tired of this. Because uh, with, a, with especially the Chrysler small block, the Chrysler LA block, right? The LA, it's a wet intake manifold. It has water passages that run through it. So I got to drain the entire cooling system just to get the intake manifold off. And I had to move the air conditioner because the air conditioner is very much in the way. I'm not going to try to go around that like I did in that last video. 
I'm going to make my life a little easier because that is heavy. And I've been trying to find a um, LD340 that isn't priced um, the equivalent of the my you know of what I paid for this car. They're they're like four hundred dollars and up. There isn't a huge market. I understand that, but there also isn't a huge market. And and I'm a little lost, and I would love to put one on, just so I can make changing. It's the same as, the same flow as this, but it weighs half, and it's just easier to deal with. So, yeah. So we're gonna be uh, pulling this apart and finding out why the cylinder is is full of water, uh, oil. I mean, well, hold on one second. I'll, I'll even show you something. All right, so I pulled plug from number six to give you guys an idea of just how much oil. You saw how bad it is on the backside. This is how bad it is inside the cylinder. T t just take a look at this. Take a look at how much oil is in there. It's soaking wet. I mean, it's it's it, the whole the whole the, the the whole plug is is drenched. pretty close to fouled and this was not even running it hard this is taking it off the trailer pulling it in the garage and then starting it once to test the PCV you know I wanted to test my uh, I wanted to test my PCV because if that's failing I'm gonna build a whole bunch of pressure inside the uh, crankcase and that could blow out seals and I tested, and the way you test it, you take a piece of paper and you put it over an opening in the valve uh, valve covers. And uh, I just took out my breather element on the uh, pasture side. And I put that in there and it sucked down on the, uh, on the paper. I was holding it down. I mean, it's not going to suck it in, but it, you know, it's not like a modern car. But there's still, you know, a negative pressure in there. And, and it was fine. So it's not the PCV. There's a, so there's something going on with the mating between the head and the uh, intake manifold. I really hope I don't take the heads off this car. Because, uh, yeah, I don't want to do that. That's, that's, a whole, that's a whole other nightmare. And, and, and anybody that's done had to, had to take heads off cars and but it, it, it's not pleasant. Uh, as much as you drain the block, there's still going to be water. And it's just, it, it ends up being a holy mess. And of course, then I had to find a machine shop someplace near Tampa to do machining because um, we really don't have one anymore that that does machine work. It's it's getting harder and harder to find any place. Any place that's decent is now months just to get stuff in and out. So I'm going to be... Uh, you know, we'll be taking this apart, and I'll I'll probably just do a video on what I find and kind of kind of update on that. Give you a little further because this is really strange that this is doing this. It's not the and it's, this isn't the first time I put an intake manifold on. I mean, I've I've done this many a time. I've never had one blow out like this. I mean, it, to the point where there's oil on top of the intake manifold gasket. That's pretty impressive. So, yeah, so there's the update on the car after the uh, drag racing fun. Um, hopefully you enjoy that video right there. Uh, we, uh, we have a whole circle of stuff for Mo Party. But uh, thanks for watching. And of course, do the things you know you need to do. And uh, if you do those things, you get more things like you think you like. And as always, if you have you know, a cool old classic car that's running... Well, something that's not like my BMW that's buried right now because I'm still digging out from low party. Uh, take them out because you'll make someone's day, including your own. And uh, I will catch you very soon.